Hi, I'm Adrian from Micromega Dynamics. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Recovib MIM acquisition module with the Recovib suite. The live streaming analysis and processing options are basically the same as for the viewer module. For a more advanced use of the Recovib MIM, I encourage you to watch the tutorials covering the viewer module features. There are different options for your Recovib MIM to communicate with your PC. It can either be configured with a static IP address or with a dynamic IP address. If it's configured with a static IP address, you can either connect the Recovib MIM to the local area network or connect it directly to the Ethernet port of your PC. If it's configured with a dynamic IP address, make sure to connect the MIM to a local area network with an available DHCP server. In this tutorial, I'll use a Recovib MIM configured with a dynamic address. I will then target it with its device name which is MIMD0006. I first select the appropriate network interface. Then I select the device name radio button and then I type the device name. I click on connect and when the corresponding Recovib MIM is detected, the settings window automatically opens. Under the Measure tab, select the desired sampling frequency. Press the play icon in the bottom left corner to start streaming. Now, you have the temporal signal on the left side of the screen and the associated frequential analysis on the right side of the screen. In this example, we only connected a current loop acceleration sensor to the first channel. We'll then hide the other channels as they are not relevant. Let's configure the first channel to display acceleration data. Therefore, we go to the Measure tab and we click on the Settings wheel next to Channel 1. We'll give the channel a name, let's say Acceleration Y, and we need to define the output units. Here, the sensor is an acceleration sensor, so the units will be G. The calibration gain will then be expressed in G per milliamp and it should be written on the calibration certificate provided with the sensor. So now channel 1 should be displaying acceleration data. To record a recovery project that you can replay in the viewer module, click the record button. The toggling button indicates that the recording is ongoing. When you want to stop the recording, click the record button again. The button stops toggling and the project is stored in the recovery projects folder.